Hey y'all, Matt here with another, another Bible video and today we're going to discuss a question that I got about uh, what scripture means when it says to knock the dust off of your feet. Um, but before we get into this video, if you like these videos, please don't forget to like them, subscribe to the channel and hit that notify button so uh, YouTube notifies you when I post a new video so you can be aware of it. Um, but back to the topic. Um, the question I got was in Matthew chapter 10 verse 14 what is Jesus talking about when he tells the disciples to basically knock the dust off of their feet as they leave a city if the gospel is rejected there um, and the scripture actually says whoever does not receive you nor heed your words as you go out of that house or that city shake the dust off of your feet and basically what we need to do when we read any kind of scripture like this we can't just take this one verse but we need to look at the the whole chapter at a minimum to basically get the uh, the entire message that Jesus is trying to convey and the context of this passage is that Jesus is actually talking to his disciples and he's instructing them as he sends them out to teach and preach the gospel to other people and what he's doing is he's basically telling them, you know, as you go out and as you share the message of the gospel, when people reject you, if they, uh, if they don't want to hear the message and they basically are harsh towards you or um, don't believe, then what they're to do is they leave that house or that city. They need to shake the dust off of their feet. They need to basically wash their hands of it. They need to be done of it. Their part of the obligation is done. They've done what they were supposed to do. They've faithfully gone out and they've preached and they've taught the word of Jesus and um, it's, it's not their duty to make people respond and sometimes this is hard for us to remember you know um, we go out and we preach and teach and uh, evangelize to our friends and share the message of Jesus and we want people to respond but ultimately that's not on us um, the prophet Isaiah he spent his entire ministry um, preaching and teaching and begging people and you know telling people that they needed to repent because judgment was coming because they were being unfaithful to God and he was basically trying to call them back to God and um, at the beginning of his ministry God even told Isaiah that he's gonna preach this message for his entire life and nobody's gonna respond nobody's gonna repent nobody's gonna come to go know God as a result of that and while this isn't what we want, this isn't what our earthly um, you know, perspective of what a uh, relevant and a successful ministry looks like, in God's eyes, that's different. Um, he is calling us, and by us, I mean all believers, to go out and make disciples, to, to share the gospel, to share the good news of Jesus Christ with other people. But it's not our duty to make people respond. And there's times when we may go through a whole lifetime you know, uh, evangelizing or dealing with one person, sharing the gospel with them and uh, teaching them about Jesus. And we may never see them, or, you know, repent and believe. But there's other times when we uh, share the gospel and we're met uh, antagonistically. And these times we may need to just step away. You know, our duty there is done and we need to be confident in that. And we need to uh, be confident in that we are basically called to sow the seed and you know we are not the ones that actually cause that seed to bear fruit um, the holy spirit does that and it's conviction of people and uh, ultimately people have a choice whether or not they want to respond and submit their lives to jesus so basically um, matthew 10 um, this is what jesus is talking about he's telling his disciples you know once they've gone and they've faithfully done what they've been called to do if they are met with resistance and the people reject them that that's okay as they leave that city wash your hands of it be done with it and move on and do it again somewhere else put their efforts wherever uh, they're needed and wherever they're fruitful but if you like these videos or if you have any other questions please send them my way um, like the video and uh, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications um, I'll be posting another video on Friday and until then I'll see y'all love you guys blessings